Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to do a video about options. So, as you, if you're a follower of our channel, you know that I do the wheel strategy exclusively and it's been paying off really nicely. There's a link in the description below to all of my trades and all of my profits so far if you want to look into it. And oftentimes people do want, always ask me, hey, what are your criteria when you sell options? Well, I want to do a video today to show you all of these things and um, I want to go over every one of these stats if you have Robinhood or any other trading uh, app it should show you all these information when you do when you go to the options screen so today I just want to do a video about all of these things so I want to show you two wildly different stocks and how these values differ when you have very polar opposite stocks so these two stocks are Microsoft MSFT and GameStop, GME. So let's go over Microsoft first. So let's say, for example, I want to sell a put for Microsoft expiring next week. So today's the 10th, and next week will be the 19th. And I want to sell the Microsoft puts, and I'm looking at the price right now, which is $232. And I think Microsoft is going to hold up well, it's going to go back up. I usually look at the charts here and you see that it's going back up. So I think this will continue to go back up. So I think it, there will be a really hard chance for Microsoft to go down below let's say $210. So I'm looking at the $210 strike price here. So what I usually do is I open it and look at the stats. So let's go over each one of these. The bid is how much people are willing to pay for it right now and how many people are setting that bid at the $50 at the 46 cents price so remember this is option every time you do this 46 cents times 100 because every option it's a derivative for 100 shares of the stock so instead of 0.46 you have $46 if you sell this option so this is the bid right now I usually forget about the zero point here I'll just say okay there's 18 people who wants to pay $46 for this option. And then the ask here is how many people are willing to sell at a specific price. So the people here wants to sell, there's 41 people who wants to sell this option at $54. So Robinhood will automatically pick the mid price for that, which is in between $54 and $46. And here it's $50. So if you do want to get your order executed, you have to buy it at 50 or sell it at 50 and it will immediately execute. If you don't, you can set your price as one of these. So if you are selling the option, you'll probably want to sell it somewhere. The higher, the better because you get more money. And if you are the buyer of the option, you want to set it as the lower end as possible. You want to pay as less as possible for this option. So the mark is like what is the mid price, which is $50 right now. Previous close is how much it was close uh, at the previous session. And the high is the amount that this option was traded at, at the high today. So at the high today, it was trading at $52. And this is at the low today, it was trading at $31. So what this means is that if Microsoft, so if I'm selling this put, so if Microsoft goes down today like if it goes down and uh, like more and more down so if you look at the chart from microsoft it's sort of like <laughs> like uh it just kept going down all day long so if microsoft kept going down this puts becomes more valuable and therefore the trading price will be higher so at the high today it was trading at 52 and it kind of makes sense and it's right now trading at 50 because microsoft at the end of the day traded like near the end of the day and vice versa for low. So when Microsoft is trading at a really high price, let's say at the opening it went up, this val this put becomes more and more, uh, less and less valuable. Therefore, people are not willing to pay for it, and the the price that was traded at, at the low was thirty one dollars. So as you can see, the price of this option fluctuates throughout the day based on the uh, the price of the stock throughout the day. So in intraday charts will dictate the intraday price of this option. Now for volume, volume is how many orders were traded today. So this is 
when you when the order actually executes, when somebody actually sold the puts or bought the puts, this number will go up. As for open interest, that's like how many people are actually interested in this. They all like want to to pay attention to this and they are interested in buying or selling this order, this option. Now here's the most important stat. It's the implied volatility. Implied volatility, in a way, it's very similar to how much volatility people are expecting for this stock. So Microsoft traditionally, if you look at their, their, their charts, it's pretty stable chart. Like you look at this, you're like, wow, if you want to invest in a company, you should invest in Microsoft because the chart seems to be very stable. There's no wild movements except for this, but that's from the coronavirus. So it sort of recovered and just kept going up ever since. So it's very stable stock to put your money in and there's not much risk. Therefore, the volatility is low. It's only 44%. So here's the relationship between volatility and the price of an option. An option, in a way, is like a bet on the future price of a, of a financial instrument. So when you have low implied volatility, this means that the stock will have low risk of going high or going low. It tends to stay pretty normal within a certain range. So if you want to be a careful seller of options, you want to do wheel on a safe stock, Anything below 50%, I think it's a good candidate. So Microsoft, naturally, is a great candidate to sell puts on. So let's look at the Greeks. There, when you sell options, there are really only two Greeks that you want to look at, Delta and Theta. Delta is interesting because Delta tells you the chance that this option will make you full money when you sell puts on it. So probability of success probability of you reaching the max profit of $50 here is denoted by this number here. So what you do is you do 1 minus 0 0.06, which is, 0, which is uh, 0 0.94. So there's 94% chance of you earning $50 when you sell this puts. So I don't know about you, but 94% sounds really good to me. And I will usually sell this option in, with a drop of a hat to collect this $50. It's pretty much free money. And the next Greek you want to look at is theta. Theta, this number here, is how much Microsoft, like this option here, the value of this option, will drop every day if the price of Microsoft stays the same. So if by the end of the day tomorrow, Microsoft still trades at $232.75, this option, instead of $50, it will be worth $11 less. So it will be $39 by tomorrow if Microsoft stays the same. So as you can see, it's a negative number, meaning every for every day it go the every day we go past uh, the, in the market, this the value of this option drops automatically. So that, I hope you see the reason why I sell options is because. Even if the price of the stock doesn't move, you are making $11 right here for free, like by doing absolutely nothing. So that is the, the one of the reasons you want to do this. Ideally, you want to sell something with high probability of success and high theta, meaning the higher this number is, the better. Now, this number will increase as you get close to the expiration date. And there's some math behind it, but that's just some, something you need to know. As you get close to the expiration date, this number will increase until it, the option price goes to zero. When you sell option, you want this to go zero, to go to zero, because they cannot exercise it anymore, and you pocket the premium for free. And that is the goal when you sell options. Now, I hope this is this is a lot of information, and I hope you guys uh, can take in. So, with all of that said, let's look at a polar opposite stock. Let's take a look at GameStop. Now GameStop, same thing. I want to sell a put for GameStop, expiring next week. Now GameStop is currently trading at $266. As you can see, the price of GameStop is pretty similar to Microsoft, right? 232 versus 266. However, if you look at the options chain for GameStop, let's take a look at this. For a $220 trade price, that's $40 below the current price of GameStop. 
let's take a like, let's take a look at the stats. So there are currently eleven people who are willing to pay four thousand three hundred fifty dollars for for one option of GameStop. Right now, they're willing to pay four thousand dollars, and then there are also eleven people who are willing to sell this option at four thousand four hundred ninety dollars. So the mid price between that is $4,420. I hope you see what this is doing here. So at the previous close, this option was worth $4,088. And at the high today, this option was worth $6,525. So let's take a look at GameStop's price throughout the day. Extremely volatile. You see this huge drop in the middle of the day. So at the high today, at $6,525, right? $6,525. Remember what I said about the relationship between the option of the puts and the price of the stock. When the stock price goes extremely high, the put gets lower. But when the stock drops tremendously, the price of the puts goes higher. So this was probably from this drop midday when GameStop dropped like 20% in like two minutes. And then at the low today, it was trading at 2,620. Like, that's crazy. That It dropped 50% in a day. So at the low today, it was trading at $2,600. And this was probably when GameStop was flying when the market opens. And it was trading so high today. And look at the volume. There are 923 uh, exchanges of this option today. And 201 open interest. Now, let's take a look at this number here, the implied volatility. Please excuse my background noise, there's a peep, uh, idiots driving around with a uh, crazy sound. Okay, let's take a look at implied volatility. This number here is 433%. Now remember, Microsoft, the implied volatility was 44%, but GME is 433%. What does this mean? This means that GME is expected to move wildly based on this value. So this is saying like GME will either go up like 200 bucks tomorrow or it will drop to 10 bucks tomorrow. That's how much people are expecting this to move. <laughs> 433%. This is extremely volatile stock. So in general, when the stock is very volatile, people will pay a lot of money for an option. So if you do sell an option on something like GME, be prepared to get assigned to it because it's extremely risky from my perspective. And I would not want to do this at all. I would never sell anything above 100% volatility. But you will make $4,420 when you sell this put. You, you take the money directly. Like when you sell this put, you collect $4,000 right away. Now let's take a look at the Greeks. Delta is 0.26 right now for this option, this put right here. So remember the math we did. You do 1 minus 0 0.26. So that's about 73% chance of you making money, collecting this for free. 73%. It looks good, but 73% is kind of incredibly uh, misguiding, I think. Because the crazy volatility, like you could, you could like get assigned right away tomorrow. So, your GameStop drops. So let's look at data. So theta is three point three one five eight. So remember Microsoft, our theta was 0 0.11, but GME the theta is three point three one. So this means this the value of this option will drop. $331 every single day. That's every single day. If, even if GameStop stays even, like if the price of GameStop don't move or go sideways, this will just keep drop in, dropping in its value like $331 in one day until expiration. So on expiration day, if GameStop trades above $221, $220, then you collect $4,000 for free, like you take the whole profit. And there you go. It's very, very risky to play something like this, but the reward is extremely nice because you get $4,000 right away. However, if you lose, if GameStop drops, 
way below that, let's say $200, you are now on the hook. So in order to sell this put, you need to put up $22,000, right? $22,000, and if this drops to $200, you just lost like $2,000 right there. And if it drops, like keep going, you're gonna drop more. So every dollar it drops, you lose a hundred bucks. But you have this four thousand dollars lean way. So in reality, your break-even price will be somewhere in like the hundred somethings. But Gain GameStop can easily drop to 180, 150 dollars, like no problem. The drop of a hat. So it's an extremely volatile stock, and I wouldn't do this unless you are gambling. Our wheel strategy does not work on stocks that you do not want to own so definitely stay away from stocks like that but if that's your thing well uh the trade iv app can show you all of these crazy stocks with a ton of high ivs so all of these stocks are crazy high ivs and you can sell them if you want but i wouldn't recommend it so that is it for this video i hope it helped you visualize like the difference between a high risky stock versus a stable stock and why we choose to sell options on stable stocks and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, i'll see you guys next time